My name is Hugo Ortega. Welcome back to the Uber Tablet Blog. Now, a lot of you have been following my uh, posts about the uh, two gigabyte sticks of RAM and, uh, and, and where I've been placing them. Now, one of the first places I put a two gig stick was in the Q1 Ultra, Ultra Mobile PC. Now, just for today's exercise, I wanted to actually teach you how you can do that yourself. Okay, because a lot of folks have been asking. So rather than posting some photos, let's get it done on the video. So as you can see, I have the Q1 Ultra. Very lovely machine, by the way. Um, I'll be posting some thoughts shortly. So to uh, shut it down, let's get, let's click first on the uh, shutdown. Uh, here we go. And go to turn off. And there we have it. The machine is now shutting down. So the first thing you want to do is actually lift up the kickstand on the back of the device. And have a look at the, uh, we've got the locking mechanism for locking the machine on and off in its battery position, so the latch itself. There's our battery, so lock up on red, red, red light off means locked, and red light on means unlocked. So the reason that they've supplied this little switch is that the battery actually, when it's unlocked, is very, very easy to drop out. In fact, I wouldn't, I would hesitate to suggest that it might not even stay there. The, re the way you actually take it off is just by pinching the top corners of the battery. Battery off, there you go. Now we haven't actually got that much to do when upgrading the RAM. The first thing you want to do is actually take out the pen out of its harness, okay? So take out the pen, please. The second thing is, you'll see an array of screws staring at you. So let's just get rid of those screws. For the exercise today, what you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver, so the star-shaped screwdriver, as small as possible, so one of those computer-type laptop accessory screwdrivers. Not as small as a watch battery-type screwdriver, but definitely um, a small one. And a blunt, uh, very soft-edged, flat head screwdriver, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So let's get working on the screws. Take off all the screws other than the ones labeled L4 and you want to put them together. There's only five screws holding this device together other than the ones labeled L4. So let's take, take off those five. Now the five are all the same size and they're found in the, in the top corners of each of the uh, corners of the back of the Q1 plus in the, uh, the middle right hand side. Now L4, if we zoom in you'll see, hug where the battery was before hugs the back of the computer to the chassis of the device. So there's the L4 and if you look down the bottom there's a second L4. Okay. Now L4s are labelled um, very very nicely so you remember where to put them when they go back. Now they're the short ones. Okay. All the others are slightly longer. L4 about half the length. So we've taken off the screws. Now that we've got exposed Q1, the chassis, or the case itself, the hard plastic back case, does not just pop off at this stage. What we have to do is, cleverly, Samsung has designed this little flap, which I really like to hide ports, because ergonomically it looks nice, but secondly it protects from dust. Now let's lift up that dust protector and grab our blunt flathead instrument. Now you'll note as I zoom in, between the VGA and the USB, there is a little pressure clip. Let's see if you can see that just there. And what we want to do is actually stick our blunt, and the reason I chose blunt is so that we don't really hurt the Q1 itself. And you can see that the chassis now comes apart slightly. It's a very soft push, okay? Whenever you're upgrading any sort of computer parts or components, it's always very subtle, soft movements. They've all been engineered to sit precisely together, so they don't really need big shoves. Now what you do is, about there you've got where the battery used to be empty. We've pried open our little pressure clip there, but there's two more pressure clips on the inside of the case. You find those about halfway between the balance of the motherboard, or the unit itself at the back, minus the battery. What you do is you grab either side of the back of the chassis, and you pinch. And then what happens is, as you pinch, you begin to pry away the balance of the chassis. 
and quite easily. And the worst bit about doing these jobs is you hear noises that you should never hear coming out of your devices. Cracks and splits and, and oh, ouches and everything. But if you can look past that, the actual prying open of the, this particular case is quite easy. On the existing Q1, what you had to do is actually really do a left up and rotate split and then right click. It was just unheard of. But on this at least they've done a pressure clip on the top, remember to do that. And just remember to always have your pen out first and then pinch left and right of the top in halfway through the uh, balance of the computer minus the battery. And there you have the case comes out. RAM itself is the world's simplest task. The main thing you want to do is, is to ground yourself. So touch a bit of metal. So I've got metal legs here on this uh, table. Touch a bit of metal to remove any static you might have on your fingers. And, and really more importantly and, and better would be to actually go down and buy an anti-static wristband. It grounds you um, so that no static actually travels from, from yourself to the motherboard because you can kill motherboards with static and kill RAM. And you, you definitely can uh, cause some degradation in, in the way the RAM acts. So all you do now is we... Uh, there's two metal clips that sit inside and attach to the RAM itself. And all you want to do is pull them slightly out of the uh, left and right side of the RAM and then you see the RAM comes out gently. Always pull RAM out parallel to the base of the RAM slot and put it back in the same. So let's put it back in because this is my 2 gig stick. And you can see that by putting a little bit of pressure onto the RAM itself, left and right top corners, parallel to the base of the RAM slot, it just pops back in without really much pressure at all. Then all you do, you can see it's tilted on about a 30 degree angle. With one finger, just slap it back towards the motherboard. And those two clips do the rest of the work by themselves. They just pop the device uh, back into place. And there you have it. Your RAM is upgraded. All you have to do is build the device back up again. So this time, instead of from left to right, peeling it away, now peel it back down right to left. So bed the left portion of the device first. Yep. Then pressure clips left and right, top. And then the final one in between the USB and the VGA. Make sure that's clipped into place and you hear them three clicks. And now all we have to do is screw the device together again. Last thing left to do is put the L4 screws in last, even though we, we took them out first. You always try and put the machine back together in a reverse order and try and put uh, diagonally opposed screws in also. So top right goes to and then do this bottom left next, top left and then do the bottom right just so you're not creating any warping or twisting when you're putting the the, uh, the screws in. Now the last thing I normally do is give it one last test to see that everything's better just by pressing a bit because sometimes you think the screws in all the way and it's not um, and the device needs one last shove. So battery again right to left Make sure you put your lock on, so the battery is locked, and make sure everything's tidied up. And let's just boot up the device and make sure that it starts. So we've got the Samsung uh, splash screen at the front. Now with a bit of luck, this has helped. Ask me any questions you need to clarify what I've done, but I'm really um, no... Uh, uh, no uh, more technically, technically minded than a lot of you are. So I imagine you should be able to get away with this RAM upgrade yourself. Don't go into a computer shop, do it yourself. It's so much more fun. This has been Hugo Ortega from the Uber Tablet blog, wishing you the best with your Q1 Ultra. And until next time, stay in touch. Bye-bye.